Jesus. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus.
I never like a little chick. Yeah. Hallelujah. I don't like little chicks. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'll work all the time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want a good chick. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I know God gives good chicks. Hallelujah. I want to look like my chick. I want to see my chick. Hallelujah.
John Wilson would he let come to the pulpit. Amen? Amen. Amen. God is in the blessing business. Amen? That you can have it, you got to reach up and grab it. Amen. Oh, the hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. We will all stand uh, for a prayer of illumination. Yes. Found in, on page six of your hymnals. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. As I got up here, he said, Behold. I will send a messenger, and he shall prepare the way before you. Amen? Amen. God is prepared a way before us. Yes. Amen. He said he is raising a church that will obey. Yes. Amen. Prayer illumination. Man Man reads, Jesus. Lord, open our hearts and minds by the power of the Holy Spirit that has the truth of the red, and your word proclaim, we may hear with joy what you say to us today. Amen. 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 Glory, hallelujah. Open our hearts to Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Yes. And we can hear. Amen. We're going to have our Old Testament reading by Reverend John Wilson uh, coming from Psalms 104, 24 through 34. And we're going to have our New Testament, uh, John 7, 37 through 39, read by Brother Basie Chisholm. Our prayer by Brother Richard Niles, selection from our male chorus, and our morning sermon, Minister Ernest Henry III. Let the church say amen. Amen. the church say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Glory. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Scripture lesson is, uh, Mr. Alpha just said that from Psalms 104, yes. 24 through 34, and I'll be reading for the New International Version. Thank you, Jesus. Maybe a little bit different in wordings, but it all means the same. Yes. Amen. 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 24th verse says, How many are you, your works? O oh Lord, in wisdom you made, then all the earth is full yes, of your creation, creature. There is the sea, vast and special, teeming with the cre creatures beyond numbers, living things, both large and small. Amen. The ships go to and fro, and the letters of which ye form, amen, there. They all look to you to give them the, their food yes. at the proper time. When you give it to them, they gather up. And when you open your hand, they are satisfied yes. with the good things. Yes. When you hide your face, they are terrified. Jesus. When you take away their breath, they die Jesus. and return to the dust. Yes. When you send your spirit, they are created. And you renew the face of the earth. Yes. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. Yes. May the Lord rejoice in his work. Yes, Lord. He who looks at the earth and is and it trembles. Yes. He who touched the mountain Whoa. and they smoke. Yes. Oh, praise the Lord. Yes. Will sing to the Lord all <laughs> my life. Yes. I will sing praises yes. to God as long as I live. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. May my meditation 
be pleasing to him yes. as I rejoice in the Lord. Yes. Psalm 104, 30, 24 through 34. May God bless the reader and the listener thereof. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. 
But to depart from something is gradual. Mm -hmm. He says, giving heed to seductive spirits All right. and doctrines of demons. Come on. Now. Jude encourages, he says, we must contend not for signs and wonders. Come on now. Not for miracles. He says, for the faith. That's a definite article. He says, for the faith, yes. for the doctrine upon which Christianity is built. He says, we must contend for it. Why? Because some have crept in unaware. Yes. In the Greek it says, they slipped, they crept in through a side door. Yes. <laughs> and telling people, you can live immoral lives. Oh, come on. Jesus. Jesus. And Jesus. grace will take care of it. Mm. You can sin, we live it under grace. And certain messages of grace, if they're teaching it, it's an overdose. Ooh. Because they're saying you can do whatever, God will take care of it. Matter of fact, you don't even have to confess your sins now. That was some of them teaching under the grace message. Right. But the Bible doesn't teach that. No. Yeah. The Bible said, if I sin, 1 John 1 9, I must confess. And he that is faithful and just will forgive me. Come on. Proverbs says, sin unconfessed will stop you from prospering. Come on. Preach the word. Preach it. Nothing teaching going on. Karma. What is karma going on in the church? It's the Eastern religion. What it says is, you your own boss. Mm. Are you only going to get what you do? Mm. What you sow, in other words. God don't have anything to do with that. Lord, but how many know God is over everything? Yeah. Yeah. It's not just you do what you want. Yeah, that's a law. But God is involved in everything. Matter of fact, everything belongs to God. Yeah. And one day he's coming back to get what's belong to him. Yeah. We are simply stewards. Come on then. You can be a poor steward or you can be a bad steward. Hey. How many know life is all about management? Yes, sir. Somebody said, well, I never went to school for business. No, God, God gave you a degree. You a business person. <laughs> and God wants you to manage what he gives you. Come on, man. Amen. 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 About two months ago, I had a question for God. I said, man, I, I think, I, I went to God, I said, now, God, how in the world your word says, Hebrews 7.25 says, Jesus forever maketh intercession for the saints. Mm -hmm. Anybody know that, right? Yes. Then in Romans 8 verse 27, the word says that the Holy Spirit is interceding on the saints' behalf. Right. Yes. I said, wait a minute now, God. How in the world Jesus praying for me the Holy Spirit praying for me, and I'm still not coming up to your measurement. Whoa. How in the world that can be? If anybody pray, God going here, it got to be Jesus. The one, it has got to be the Holy Spirit. Anybody ever thought of that? How in the world Jesus praying for me? He ever living, seated at the right hand of God, and the Holy Spirit. But I'm coming short. Yes. How is that happening? That's right, Jesus. And then I believe he gave me an answer. Uh, but I'm not going to deal with this answer today. <laughs> but he gave me an answer. Okay. Because I was sitting in the parking lot, I think last week, and I was just sitting there, and the thought came to me, and it, this was it. God has given us the gift. The free moral gift to actually to define your life. Mm. And God will never interfere unless you give him permission. Amen. Come Amen. on, preacher. Say that. That's part of the answer. Amen. Come on now. The psalmist said, hey. he said hey. God has given you a pen. Yes, he is. To yes. write your own life. Yes, sir. Yes. With your mouth. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, I'm sitting in the parking lot and I wrote it down on an envelope. God has given us. We free moral age. You are writing your own life. Come on, man. Free moral age. 
And what, going back to what he showed me, he gave me that. Even though Jesus prayed for him, uh -huh. even though the Holy Spirit, every day, 24-7, yeah. yes, yes. until he acknowledged he need help, yes. the prayer wasn't doing no good. Not a good, yeah. no good. Yeah. <laughs> working, working, preacher, working. I want to leave you three things. Go ahead. This is it. Don't rush it. Three treasures. You should never surrender to the enemy. Come on, come on. Like, oh my God, you got three treasures. Three. You should <laughs> never surrender <laughs> to the enemy. Three. Three of them. Yes, sir. In Matthew 13, Jesus gave this parable. He said, The kingdom, you read it, verse 44. He said, The kingdom of heaven is just like a treasure in a field. Come on, come on. And the guy went out here. Behind the church and found the treasure. Didn't tell nobody now. All right, all right. I got to keep this to myself. All right. All right. And went to the bank and said, hey, I, I'm, get, I'm giving all my assets away. Not just for the treasure, but the treasure is so valuable, I'm going to buy that whole property right now. He said, the kingdom of heaven is like a man. Give everything of his possession to possess this treasure Look at that. in the field. Yes. What God has given to the church. Look at yes. And that's why they talk about it in Sunday school, different things going on. But what happened is people are not Come on. Uh, defining Christ. They, they haven't really de given a definition to their life. Come on. You know, people want to straddle the fence. They want to they wanna hang with the crowd. They want to be an in crowd and the out crowd. And until you make Thank a decision, you're going to do and live whether they like you, whether they don't like you, you're going to do what God would have you to do. Until you come to that decision, you always be wavering. That's why James said in chapter 1, he said a double-minded person is unstable. One day they say, Lord, I love you. Yes. Next day they say it's something totally different. Amen. 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 And so we're living in this season that God wants you to be filled with his spirit right. so you can be Preaching. a light and help somebody. Lord, yes. Lord. I wonder how many Harriet Tubman is here. Uh, I wonder how many... Oh, so turn the truth in here. Come how on. many? How many Nelson Mandela? Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. They said black people in South Africa, you are two thirds of a human. Mm. Nelson Mandela said, "No, I don't agree with that." Uh -huh. They said, "Why well, you don't have to agree with our law? We'll put you in prison." Yeah. He said, "You can put me in prison." He said, I believe God has made all men yeah. equal. Yeah. 27 years in behind prison, yeah. talking the same message. Yes, Came out to God, made all men equal. Came out of prison, Nelson Mandela, an old man like Moses. I mean, no God can still use you when you turn 80. Yeah. Became the president of South Africa. Look up. Yeah. You know why? Because he had a backbone. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. God is looking for people that got a backbone. Yeah. Yes, sir. I saw a quote on television. They said, if only one person stand up with a back, some other folks will stand up. Yeah. Yeah. But it's hard to find people to stand up oh. and say, no, right is right. Yeah. And wrong is wrong. Yeah. We must continue. For the truth. Yes. And this is the truth. Yes, it is. Yes. This is it. Yes, it is. I'm almost through. Somebody came to me last week. Two people around. Sometimes God, I get clustered. God will send little little seeds and things Come to on. help people. Yes, sir. Send a person to me that came. He said to me, I got all the money. I don't need no money. I'm doing good. I don't need nothing. I will. My family taking care of it. I ain't think about no money. But I'm not satisfied. Woo. How many know you can have it? Yes. Still don't be at peace. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. It's more. How many know? It's more that I should be doing. This is what the person was asking. So you won't find fulfillment until you look in the mirror and find yourself. Oh. Learn to love yourself. You got to find you. Yes. What prophecy is 
all about. When a person prophesies, what they're trying to do is get you to discover who you are. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. preach it. Because many times you could be living somebody else's life. Yeah. Come on. Hello, somebody. Amen. The first treasure, Amen. you cannot surrender to the enemy. No. This is it. Your praise. Come on. See my praise. My my praise. praise. You cannot allow the enemy to take your praise. Yeah. Praise is the breeding ground for miracles. Yeah. David said, I will bless the Lord. Psalm 34. At all. No, it's raining and I ain't doing nothing. It's raining and cloudy. Look up, look up. No, this book about Monday. <laughs> no, Humpty Dumpty Wednesday. And all these days, I don't know who came up with these days. Come on, but the Bible tells me this is the day the Lord has me. Yeah. Yeah. And you should not allow the day to determine no. how you're going to live and praise God. Come on. Every day. Yeah. I got to praise on the inside. Come on. Yeah. Some writer said, a praise on the inside. Yeah. And God always give me a song. It'll stay for me about a week or two weeks. There's something I had going on. I'd rather have Jesus yes. more than anything. How yeah. I many you rather have Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. Bible said, when Moses discovered, he said, no, not the Nelson Mandela. He said, no. He said, I don't want what Pharaoh, I'm living in everything you would want. He said, I'd rather suffer with my people. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of be with these people on the up and up. Come on. Yes. George Washington Carl. How many know George Washington Carl? Yes. I'm talking about strong people that lived back in the day. Yes. They came to George Washington Carl. You hear the man that came up with the peanut if you don't know. Yes. All kind of in, 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 invention George Washington Carl did. It. Black man. They came to him. This was back in the early 1900s. Hmm. And gave him a blank check. Go ahead and write your salary in that blank check. Mm. Whatever you want. Yeah. Powerful. Oh. George Washington Carver said, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. Because uh. if I take the money, mm -hmm. some of my people will lose track. Oh, yeah. You know, we get mixed up now. Yes. Come on, come on. They don't take a whole lot. Just yes. get a Gucci belt and you will mess up a whole oh, bunch yes. of us. <laughs> because we're I looking know. at the outer and the outer don't mean anything. No. How many know you can have on a, a million dollar suit? Right. Don't, get, don't take a million dollar suit. You get a suit from Dollar General right. and praise God. Right. So it's got to be on the inside. Yes. Like my mother, we had a discussion one time, Mama. I mean, they had it going on. But anyway, she said, she said, Ernie, I'm going to tell you one, I'm going to tell you this. She said, no need to spend all that money. Come on. And a suit mm -hmm. when you can do that and get three suits. Mm -hmm. And then when she said, she, you can do what you want. Because this is how she would tell. She said, if I live to be 150 and you be 120, if you wrong, I'm going to come. You can kick me out your house, but I'm going to tell you the truth. Yes. <laughs> so after I thought about it, I said, you know what? She is right on. Because <laughs> nobody paying attention to what you got on no. the yes. You spending all that money to impress people for one hour and they can forget what you had on. So I think, boy, that, that was wisdom. You must learn to keep your praise. Come on, man. Praise is a weapon. If you ever down and out, find yourself, Lord, I think. Richard. Remember in 1 Samuel 30, the Bible says that. David, they went away. He had over 600 men. They got back. Their wives were taken. The children, oh. their, their cars, their vehicle, everything was gone. <laughs> Bible said they cried until they couldn't cry no more. That's right. That's right. Then, on top of that, they got mad with David <laughs> and wanted to kill him. <laughs> yes, they did. Yes, they did. And David was people was between a rock. <laughs> what do you do when you in that? Oh, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Go to everybody complaining. No, that's not the answer. 
Get on your knees. Or you can stand up. And if that thing on the inside, that's it. If it's in there, come on. Paul told Timothy, he said, son, you about to take on this church. He said, stop. I was at a, at a uh, St. Mark one time. Oh, uh, no. Join him in preaching. Call a young lady out. He said, sister. He said, I see some stuff in you. But he said, you need to stir. He said, what I see. He said, this is what I see. He said, I see lemonade and all the sugars at the bottom. He said, if you would just stir and start stirring up, you can get some of it. Brother Shepard had a lady that went in prep meeting. He said, oh, Lord, that y'all go, oh, Lord, oh. Oh Lord, he got up. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. He went and whispered in. He said, "Honey, turn your oh Lord in to thank you, Lord." <laughs> Lady, she took that strong. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Before he got, before he could turn around, that lady had already jumped up and running through the place. She got it. When you begin to praise God, God will turn your situation. Bible said David encouraged himself. Yes. Yes. When he did, the answer came. Yes. He said, should I go? He asked God two questions. He said, should we pursue? Come on. Yes. Come on. Next question is, will we win? Hey, all right. All right. God told him this. Go, and you're going to recover everything. Everything. Yes. But you know how he got that? You know how he got it? The praise. Yes. When you praise God, God will give you Yes. The next treasure. Don't surrender your faith to the end. Come on, man. I can say a whole lot about that. But the Bible says you must walk by faith yes. and not by you. Ooh. You see these little things right here? Yes. They will mess you up. Yes. The enemy to faith and sight. Yes. The enemy to faith and sight. Come on. You look at things and say, oh, no, that ain't going to work. Then somebody come and tell you, oh no, that ain't gonna work. Yeah, yeah. So by before long, fear comes in. Yeah, yeah. Everybody doubt yeah. now. You're afraid yeah. you didn't know what to do. Come on. But the Bible says you must walk by faith hey. and not by sight. Yeah. Yeah. One of our greatest hymn writers was Fanny Crosby. Yeah. Never saw a day in her life. Yeah. But she wrote a lot of them hymns you read. Come on. It's not out with sight. Come on. Yeah. It's in the sight. Yeah. Woo! You have three kinds of eyesight. Jesus. You have hindsight for the past, yes. insight for the present, uh -huh. and foresight for the future. Yes. And when you can see what God sees, yes. but the only way you won't see what God sees, your mind has to be renewed. Yes. And then the last treasure, you cannot surrender to the enemy. Yes. This is powerful. It's a seed. A seed. Mm -hmm. Money is a seed. What you do is a seed. Yes. I can guarantee you two things that will never fail. Come on. The name of Jesus no. and a seed. Yes. There are natural seeds Jesus. and there are spiritual seeds. Yes. Jesus said in Matthew 13, Mark 4, he said, if you get this power, you got it all. Yes. Look what he told his disciples. One power explain the entire how the kingdom of God works. Yes. Mm. How many know what that is? Jesus. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Putting a seed in this environment. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Jesus went on to tell them, Luke 8 said, the word is the seed. The yes. Peter's picked it up in his writing and said, the word is incorruptible. Yes. Yes. Seed. You know what scientists did? They found some seeds that were left during the Egypt, Egypt the Egyptian time. Over 4,000 year old seeds. Wow. They took those same 4,000 year old seeds, put it in its soil, and guess what they did? They came up. You know why? Jesus. The Lord showed me this. Everything that you need is already in the 
seated. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. That's why I say it this way. Everything produces not this kind. If you sowing watermelon seed and get uncle, yes, you run. run. That's what happens. Yes, sir. You need to get nervous. <laughs> because whatever you sow, that's what you're going to get. Come on now. If I sow joy, yes. ain't got nothing to do. Yeah. You sit down and wait on your harvest. Because harvest coming. Yeah. And to put the seed. When you understand how the kingdom of God works, yes. you can fast all you want. Oh, if you don't put the seed in the ground, yeah. the seed ain't going to do nothing. Yes. You got to put the seed in the proper soil. Yes, sir. Yes. That works. If you sow God's word, Come on. and you tell me you don't get a harvest, Woo. something wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And one thing about it, you're not going to be sowing for 100 years until no, you see results. No, no, no. Because what you sow, Genesis 8, 22 says, there will always be what? The farmer, I saw them plant the corn up there. I don't think the men have been up any day. Worm. Oh, I hope them corn seed kids. No, oh, God. No. God, anything coming up? No. It went to bed. Read Mark 4. Jesus said it this way. The farmer sows, he put in the sickle, and harvest come. He didn't mention anything about praying. He didn't mention anything about rebuking demons. He didn't mention anything about fasting. He said, put the seed in. Work the seed. Get light, water, and the seed will do its job. Yes. <laughs> While the seed working, you should be over here praising God. Yes. God, I thank you. God, I thank you for my healing. God, I thank you for my deliverance. Yes. If you saw the word, yes. Yes. What a word. That is like somebody showing up. What a word. They, they said a, somebody did it. A woman, I'm pregnant. But nine weeks, nine months, they don't see no baby. They don't see no, no visible, visible sign. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Uh -huh. Are you sure you're pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> when this word get in you, yeah. there should be some sign. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Right. You should be coming to church every week. Jesus. Come on, nobody Bridget. see no signs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that woman, they, that man, they pregnant. He pregnant with something. The word does three things. It gives you birth. Uh -huh. You already pregnant, or you should be giving birth right now. Yeah. I went to a service about three weeks about last month. The lady said, lady was preaching fifth Sunday. Got up after I left here. She went, she said, somebody in here got to give birth today. She said, we're going to drip dry today. We're going to stay here until this woman here birth. I go, oh, God. And they want that woman. They want that woman. I got out of there about four or something. But that woman, she got up. She got up. She felt brand new. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a good work over. You won't either get it or you get a good work out. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. Your praise, mm -hmm. your faith, Jesus. your seed. Yes. If you sow the word, yes. I promise you, it will bring back results. Yes, yes. it will. Yes. yes, it will. But Jesus said it in Proverbs this way. You got to. Proverbs said it this way. He said, "Wisdom is the principal thing. In all thy getting, get understand." But in Proverbs four, he says, "The word of God is so valuable." You you will sell everything you got just to get that. Just what we're battling. Should I come and hear the word? Oh. Or should I go to KFC or Bojanga? Get Bojanga pay for a combo. How much a combo cost? No, it's more than five well, dollars. Well, 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 well. You will pay about 10 or 13. But this is where we're at now. Should I come? $13. I know Papa has the $13 for two pieces. Should I put $13 in the offering or should I spend this at Bojango or Popeyes? Got two things. The word is eternal. Popeye food 
gonna stay in you about six hours. He's coming out. <laughs> what are you gonna choose? <laughs> These are the choices we're making. Yeah. When you show God you are not respecting his word, yeah. God show very little. Yeah. They're respecting you. Yeah. God said, if you honor me, I'm gonna honor you. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. It's, it's, it, it ain't hard. I find out this life, it ain't hard. If we do it God's way, it, 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 it roll out. I mean, it's just like putting, um, I know mother, mother here like to make biscuits. It's like putting dough in the oven and oh, waiting for it to come out. You get so crazy. Yeah, don't worry. And see, when people, they see people getting their houses, don't get upset with them. Them people been sewing. Yeah. 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 Somebody said this. People reward you in public for what you do in private. Uh -huh. So if you ain't doing nothing in private, don't look for people to come and shake your hand. I ain't talking about doing stuff. I'm talking about on your knees. I'm talking about in that work. Because the Bible said, Jesus said it to Peter. Peter said, you mean to tell me I left my wife and house and all this to follow you? Jesus said, oh, oh. no man That's right. has left wife, the children, the house, the car, and not in return, I give him back a hundredfold, more wives, more mothers, more sisters and brothers. He said, I'm going to qualify. Coming with persecution. Yes. Come on. Yes. Nobody can say, God have not given you everything. You give God what he wants from you. Yes. God will give you what belongs to you. All right. God showed me this um, during the pandemic was a, of a good time. The pandemic was a great time. Because God revealed some stuff, showed me some things. Great time. But believe it or not, everything is already finished. Yeah, yeah. We just living out. This is a video here. Yeah, we already live. Jesus. Question is. Are you going to come up to his standard? Are you going to finish your course? Are you going to complete your race? See. I mean, no, everything is already finishing God. Yes, it is. That's yeah. why when I pray, you don't need to, I, Lord, give me this, give me that. No. Find what it is God wants you to do. Then you say, Lord, I agree. Well, all right. When you agree with God, you ain't got another choice but to win. Right. But what we're trying to do, we're trying to come up with our own agenda. Come on. And what God does, I'm through, y'all. What God does, I call it, I love football. What they call a timing pattern. Football, you got offense, defense. The defense trying to get to you. You the quarterback. You got a receiver. God got you on a route path. Come on. What they got a pass in football, they call it a timing pattern. A timing pass. The quarterback says, Go and hook. The ball will be there. Yeah. It's up to you to get this your enemy. To beat him, get to your rap. When you get that, God will have the ball there for you. What did I say? They said it earlier. He said it. God only going to give us what we are able to manage. Right. Yeah. If you're not growing, no mom and dad gonna give a five year old a Maserati. No. I know. <laughs> if they do, whoa, boy, uh -huh. they need to go to the yes. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. But God is so of a good parent, He's not gonna give you anything you're not ready to have. That's why people praying, it's not praying. Mm, not praying. You got to mature in Him. Yes. The more you mature in Christ, the more He open up to you. Yes, sir. You can stand up to. Hey man, I hope you got something out of that. Yeah. How many got something out of it? Yeah. Good work. Hey Good work. You can put it Yes, sir. Right. Hey, 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 Okay. She was here. She went to Florida. She, she's in the hospital. Okay. Amen. 
Yeah, we're going to agree with them in prayer. Amen. And that God does. How many know he's the same? Yes, he yes. is. This is what I like. I would agree. This is what I like. James said this. He said, Elijah is just like us. Amen. Mm. See, he's no different. Amen. And God used him. It's not going to rain for three years. Amen. And have it shut up. Then James said, the fervent prayer. Mm. All right. A righteous man, yes. a righteous woman, yes. a feel of much. Yes. How many of you know you just got to be, you got to become whatever person praying for? We got to pray that God just unveil. Amen. Amen. Yes. Come on. Anybody else? Yes. We want to connect right here. How many want to get into this connection? The Bible says if two or three yes. touch. Glory. 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 I mean, you, you, you sense that. Do you sense that on Brother on Gibson? You sense that? I sense it. I, I, I sense it right now. I know you stay with now, her, but I want to thank you. Get electric. Yeah. It flow just like water. Yeah. Flow just like electricity. Yeah. Father, we thank you now for your word. You confirm your word yeah. with signs, followers. Yes. Father, we thank you now. Yeah. Your word. Yeah. Has come. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Yes. Whatever these needs are, yes. Yes. you already know. Yes. 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 And because they came in humility, yes. give it. Give it. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. 